Hey ladies, today I will do another video with Smooth Your London stamping plates and for this manicure I will use one plate of the Punk Collection and before I start my manicure I will just quick show you a close-up of this plate. Okay, so this is how this plate is looking in a close-up and I find that this plate is looking extremely cool. This is the Punk Collection 05 and I really can't wait to start to use these images and make a manicure with that. I will just quick measure it for those of you that are interested in the sizes of the full nail images. And they are 1 cm and 2 mm wide and 2 cm high. So I will just start with my manicure now. I already prepared my nails and applied a white base coat. And the other nails I sponged them already. Now I have those two left and I will show you how I did it. And all you will need for this sponging technique is a normal cleaning sponge. I prefer a sponge with holes for this technique because it does just some nicer effects on the nail. And you have to cut it in little pieces. I already cut some pieces. And then I cut them even a little smaller so that they have about that size. Okay, so when you're done cutting them, it is best to take a tweezer and to hold them with that while you sponge, so your other hand doesn't get that dirty. And it is just easier to handle. To sponge I will use Revlon Black 890 Magic, New York 270 Sidewalkers, and for some red effects I will use my favorite stamping polish number 9 Red from Mundo de Unas. And I will use it for some highlights because I also want to stamp later with it. And I also will use this amazing white from Mundo de Unas to stamp. And this is number one white. And I will of course add the links from Wuyu London and Mundo de Unas in the info box. So you can check out their amazing stores. If you're going to sponge with some lighter colors like me with a gray and also with some darker colors on one nail it is always good if you start with the lighter colors to sponge and then later finish with the darker colors so you will be able to also see the effects of the lighter colors. And I just sponge randomly on my nail. Now I'm going with the black over it. If it should become too dark for you, you also can go in with the white one more time. And now I will finish it with a number 9 red from Mundo de Unas. Okay, that's it. I will clean up around my nail and show you a close up of it. Okay, so I finished to clean up around my nails and this is how the close up is looking. And now I will continue with stamping on my nails. I will start with stamping these hearts with Mundo de Unas number 9 red. And here's a quick close up of this image before I stamp it on my nail. And the quality is awesome. And here you can see how this image is picking up. And to finish my design I will add some rhinestones. Okay, so I will top coat them now and then I show them to you in a close up.
Okay, so I'm done now and this is the end result. Me, I really like it. I think it turned out really cool. And if you like to check out Moju London's amazing stamping plates, you can do that. I will add the link for their online store in the info box. And I will also add the link from Mundo de Una's online store in the info box if you're interested in checking out her amazing stamping pool dishes. And I would be happy if you support me and check out my Instagram account and Facebook page. I will add those links in the info box as well. Thank you for watching my video. Stay tuned. Bye.